Rais wa masuala ya burudani Eric Omondi amerejea kwa mara nyingine ndani ya Plug Exclusive na ameweza kuzungumzia kuhusu ule mswada wa fedha wa asilimia 15 ambao unazidi kupigiwa upatu na serikali ya William Ruto. Pia Eric Omondi ameweza kuwachamba wasanii wenzie ambao wameenda kumuunga William Ruto mkono ili kuweza kutoza asilimia um, 15 ya ushuru kwa waundaji maudhui al maarufu content creators. Na hai ndio yalikuwa maneno ya mcheshi Eric Omondi. Uh, na, naona ni kama rais ako na watu wa yes man. Yes sir. Ah uh, uko sawa. Ambie ni rais ukweli. Mtu kama Kasipul anapiga kelele kwa hizi streets. Ati chawa rais. Chawa inafaa finywe hivi ule ni bad bug. Unaona venye bado nimefura tumbo kifinya ni damu inatoka tu. Mtu kama Kasipul anashinda akipiga kelele mjini. Mimi chawa rais na yeye amejengwa na content creators ni nyinyi mmemjenga mimi siko najua kaspool ni nani mimi siko najua kaspool hawa content wamekujenga hacha siasa za mimi ni chawa rais ambia rais kweli wale vijana wako around rais ambia rais kweli jagua itumbi kama we ni kijana uko below 40 tell the president the truth tell the king the truth kitabu ungekuwa executed zile siku za za kings za bible Be truthful to the president of the Republic of Kenya. Tell him the truth. What's happening on the ground? Mimi simlaumu rais. Ako na yes man. Yes sir. Yes man. Iko sawa. Vijana wakwaje? Wako sawa. Wewe ndio uko sawa bro. Tell the president the truth. That's why na kwa mimi president I'm in support marangapi. So mimi nashuku kuna issue ni Ruto sio mbaya ni wale wako wamemzunguka. Yeah. yeah, na rais tukiangalia pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii hivi majuzi tumeona wacheshi wenzio kama Njugush pale, tukaoona Butita pale wameweza kuungana na rais pale ili kuweza ku, ku, kuzungumza kidogo na kama wanajaribu kutetea ule mswada wa asilimia 15. Uh, mswada wa, wa fedha, the finance bill. Sijui kama uone ni kama Butita na na Njugush wanatetea content creators jugush ni kama amerudi mtandao ni akaibanduka aka akaitoka akasema yeye anapigania uh, kusikuwe na 15% butita naye namuita ule ni judas wa butere siku na yesu wa tongaren ule ni judas wa butere ametusaliti amepigiwa simu sasa hizi lazima tushikamane na tushikane kama wanarakati kama wana content creators online media lazima tuwe na sauti moja natue kitu kimoja na nataka kuambia Butita aende apaze sauti kwenye online kusema kwamba mimi kama Butita sikubaliani na taxi mo 15% ndio kusha alisema manake pale walichengwa kidogo na iwe ni funzo kwa sisi kama content creators lazima tukue in unity manake tukikani kama tujelewi tumegawanyika kidogo tu inaitwa divide and rule lazima tuwe kitu kimoja na tukizidi kuangalia pale kwenye mitandao ya kijamii hivi majuzi tumuona mwanamuziki eh, Nadia Mukami alikuwa anazungumza na Vincent Mboya akaweza kukuchana kidogo akidai kwamba wewe unajijita rais wa masuala ya burudani lakini hela hauna yeye yako na catalog unafanya uh, kazi za 30000 20000 uweze kujikimu kimaisha mimi kwa sasa sita wajibu wasanii kwa sasa Mungu amenipa kazi ya kutetea wasanii kutetea vijana na tapaza sauti yangu kwa tetea sio kwa tusi au kwa dhalalisha. Uh, nada nilimsikia ameongea jana ila mimi sijamsemongelesha. E, kama niko na hela kumshinda ama kuna hela kunishinda. Uh, mimi hela zangu hata juzi nilifanya mistake nikazipost. Sijakuchukua kuwa na amani. E, ila mimi sitashindana naye. Juu kama hela zake ama ni za za the arobo sijui nani ndio mwenye hela gani. Eh, mimi hela zangu nzangu. Yeye yeah, anasema uko na spa tayari, uko na salon, wewe hauna. You live in a rented house. Unaona hata mwana jangu ananiambia pale. Hata calligraph alinipigia. Kwa sasa sitajibia, baadaye nime make, nime make decision. Sitapiga wasanii. Sitapiga vijana. Nitapigania wasanii, nitapiga vijana. Kwa sasa tumechukua different direction. Tunataka ku ku save inaitwaje? Kuokoa. Nataka kuokoa vijana hapa Kenya vijana wanaumia 
wasanii wanaumia watoto wanaumia wamama wanaumia wazee wanaumia sasa kwa sasa sitatumia hata muda hata moja ama nguvu hata moja kumtukana uh, calligraph ama bien ama nadia ila nitampigania bien na nadia manake sasa amekuwa serious bro it's no longer comedy na watu wata realize very soon it's no longer a laughing matter Recommend is no, we are no longer focusing on comedy. Tutaifanya kuchekesha watu kurahisisha maisha juu ni ngumu. Lakini right now we are not going into anything that looks or sounds or smells like cloud chasing. We are dealing with li- the livelihoods and the lives of Kenyans especially young people. Ushaleo. So mimi ninawaambia kwa sasa nyinyi nyinyi nitawaambia tu yes. Nadia yes. Yes madam. Yes. Amna tena. Au tanisikia tena nikimzungumzia Bian Kobay. Anaki sasa watu, ah wenyewe, au kuona kwa comment ya ya calligraph. And the other point nikampigia. The other point. As America, can you pick a fight? Are you fighting for us or against us? I'm fighting for you. Nataka mtoto Nadia, mtoto wa Nadia, mtoto wangu kesho akuwe na maisha bora. Na lazima tuanze kusema na kupigania hiyo mikakati leo. Leo nimekuambia leo rais ra- ra- Ruto akiamua leo achukue ile pesa ya 50 CSS au CSS kesho kesho koti ikisema approved ndio akina jagua au 50 CSS watakuwa na house allowance watakuwa na car allowance watakuwa na salary watakuwa na office secretary uh, mama wa chai it's it is running to 50 billion hiyo pesa ipo if we divert it leo tu siku we divert it kidogo ni, ni koti imeshikilia CSS bro. Kesho tu waseme okay, wanaingia kwa ofisi na wanapewa hela yao. Hela ipo. So we have to fight for that money and for our lives. We are fighting for our lives. Lakini ukiangalia hizi hela ambazo zinadaiwa unasema zipo, uh, ni hela ambazo hazipo uh, tu ya tile ukweli ni unapata mtu kama maybe makamu wa rais anachukua hela zake mwenyewe kuwekeza kwa serikali. Rais anaongezwa mshahara. Niona jana kwa gazeti. Makamu anaongezwa mshahara. Ushaelewa? Ma CSS walikuwa koti last week kwa approve. Wako na hela. Mimi nakwambia ni koti imeshikilia. Hela ipo hapa chini ya meza. CSS wakia approve hiyo kesho hela inatolewa wanalipwa. Watalipwa instantly. Allowance hivyo. Mortgage hivyo. Security hivyo. CS moja unajua one CS huyu amesimama hapa kuna security watatu ako na gari na cheska ako na ofisi ofisi kuna secretary ofisi ofisi kuna watchman iko na vitu haya ako na fuel ako na ako na nini ako na nyumba ako na ako na alafu times 50 that's an example ile pesa eto tu ya ya kubai magari tulinyamaza nyinyi nyinyi mnajuaje gari hizi kununuliwa point yangu ni pesa hela ipo lakini inatumika in the wrong direction kale leo tumekuwa pale langata bro. Ni pesa kidogo. Ni pesa kidogo hata ifiki hata ifiki 2 million. Pale watu wako comfortable. Hawana dirisha bro. Hamna dirisha langata pale kwa watoi. How much is a carpet? Focus, focus. Let us let us let us focus on Kenyans. And that's why tunapiga tunapiga hii bill. Jua tuambiwi pesa naenda wapi? Hatuna shida kutoa tax. Shida yetu ni hiyo tax tukishatoa inaenda wapi? Kwa hivyo wewe mwenyewe ukiangalia uh, wewe kama rais au cheshi masuala ya burudani hapa Kenya. Umesema huko tayari kutoa zile asilimia ambazo zinajulikana kama the house uh, finance kitu kama hicho. Sijelewa house wacha kila mtafait vita yake. Mimi si support lakini mimi nataka kwanza ni deal na content creators na youths. Uh, na rais alisema tusi tusitaksiwe so lazima tukue gangari tuhakikisha kwamba isi isi kue kwa bill isipitishwe si nimesikia wanaanza ku discuss hivi karibuni kama umeanza leo so mi plug mimi hapo mimi hata hata nitapeleka watu kesho na sasa tutakitia gas kesho kutwa nataka kupeleka hapo online tukae tu hapo tutajifunga mdomo tuketi chini tusi mpaka mpaka nini ishi Naleo. Eh. Hey. Ana na tatoe kushikwa tuenda taburugu. Tutaketi tu hata tutaimba, tutapiga kelele, tutakuwa tumejifunga hivi. Juu kama wa, wakidiscuss wa waambie kuna watu nje wameketi. Wanajita content kwanza msipitishe. Hiyo ndafanya on Thursday. 
atukimalizia rais umesema kwamba no more cloud chasing ni, ma, ni mambo serious kabisa guys this is yet from the horse's mouth lazima tufike mahali plug tusicheze cloud ama comedy ama entertainment na maisha ya watoto na vijana wa Kenya lazima ifike mahali tuchukue hii he calls with the seriousness it deserves na mimi nishajiamulia nishajitolea kuhakikisha kwamba eh, wa Kenya na haswa vijana wataishi maisha inafa unaelewa so kwa sasa mimi ambia wasanii hata staki hata staki lakini pia ukiangalia vile mikakati yako pale kupigania maslahi ya wa Kenya kuna vile unatarajia wasanii wa kupatia support yeah, lakini no support. That's what wana, wana kupatia tu kwa online na kuji wa kuji kwa ground na, na hata na appreciate any form of support online comment kutaka kututumia uh, diapers pampers any co- uh, ama eriko kazipoa encouragement prayer tunahitaji maombi tunaomba vijana wale wa spiritual watuombe wale hawana hela watukomentie hiyo ni conversation ni muone barabara leo ametoa ngoma Umeona? Eh yeah. hey, hivyo hizo vitu. So siwezi piga wasanii na tena ni expect one support. So mimi naomba msamaha kwa wasanii wote niliwapiga vita. Nasikuwa piga vita kwa ubaya. Nilikuwa najaribu kupaza sauti kwa piga nini. Tukakuwa na vurugu kidogo lakini kwa sasa vurugu imeisha. Muombe watu ambao kuna machungu nayo ni kama Nadia Mukami, BN, Calligraph wengine. Nadia Mukami naomba msamaha. Naomba msamaha. Uh, naomba msamaha kwa Calligraph. BN itakuwa ni ngumu kidogo. Eh, kidogo you been in a fan yo you need it's a long story anaelewa yeye anaelewa yetu na hiyo ni personal sasa unajua hata hata kuna 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 ile kuna ile binas kuna ile kuna ile vitu deep personal Kenya should never understand eh eh yetu na taomba kidogo aniombe msama kidogo tu ataelewa yeye aje butita hivi butita come and join the fight vuka kwa mwendo wa asti asti ungana na upande wa mjadala unaopinga mjadala unaosema wana content creator wa taksiwe asilimia hamsini na tano. mimi nikisimama hapa napinga mjadala huu butita asiunga asiunge mkono mjadala huu manake jugusha sasa ashakuja akajitolea akasema mimi napinga na, tukimalizia rais Ukiangalia pale wanasema kwamba Butita ndio aweze kufika pale kwenye um, uh, makazi maku pale Ikulu na akiwa na jugush kuna vile waliona kitu kidogo hivi. Butita aliona. Butita ni kama. Ale kama pesa ngapi? Sijui. Si wewe umefanya kazi na unajua yeye anaweza alivisha. Yes, Sema he earns more than me. But I could explain you earn ni gani? Kumbe kupenda kwa nimsiko. <laughs> All right. Okay, Asante, Asante Rice. Asante. Asante.